Hello everybody and welcome back to Not Involved. Last time we played chapter one, but the devs reached out to me again and let me know that chapter two is out. So I'm excited, especially after how it ended last time. So let's see what happens next. Amari, what the heck are you doing? Um, Amari, drop that! Amari can't seem to hear you. He just stares blankly into space. Amari, stop! Amari? Uh, Amari, drop that! Drop! There's someone else here. The voice comes from the dark corner of the room. You can't figure out who or what it is, but you know it's there. Oh, I don't know, no. Um... Who's there? Arr, who's there? Me! Me! As you get closer, you begin to hear a rhythmic sound of chattering teeth. It's coming from under the blue rag. You grab the rag, pull it away, and see there... Oh! Arg, he's gone mad! Completely mad! He can't talk! Can't talk! Tell me what happened here. What's up with Amari? He's gone mad! The girl! Small! Dark eyes! Scared! Scared! Are you aware of the girl? Small, dark eyes. She's eyes. She's scared. Scared. The girl was here. I got it. Is she okay? She run. The slaughter starts. Girl, run. The slaughter? Are you talking about your... Arr, Amari, stop it. Don't kill them. Amari, put yourself together. He'll be here soon. Everything will be fine. Oh, oh you're probably repeating what the girl said. Run, run! I'll get to you soon! Where can I find her? Arr! Eat! Want! Eat! Arr! Arr! Oh no, Amari! You drop your bag and rummage through it to find something the bird could eat, well aware that this bird might just be mimicking asking for treats. It sounds like Amari. Okay, let me make you- let's make a deal here. You can have all the nuts in this bag if you tell me everything you know. You get to talk and you get to eat. How's that? Eat, eat, I tell you, you give nuts. You deal. Talk first, then it's all yours. Girl, girl, no. Girl, be here. A lot. Not anymore. Now scary. Arr, she know, she know. What does she know? She know, she know. Seems like you won't get anything from this stupid bird. And about the girl. Amari didn't write anything about her. Give nuts? Right. <laughs> You get to the window and prepare to pour nuts on the windowsill. Um... How do I find this girl? Where does she live? Two floors! The narrowest hut! The narrowest! Not far! Uh-huh. You helped me a lot. You're free now. Thank you. There you go! Have some nuts! You pour the nuts on the windowsill and take a step back. Something's off. Why is this bird here and... It knows stuff? The bird finished eating its reward and turned to you. Its voice changed. Are you one of those? Ah, uh, Graham. What? What are you talking about? Oh god, Amari. You walk silently. It doesn't get warmer with you being in the room. Oh, the bird's voice distorts even more. So that's how it is. Dirty maggot, leave me be! Liar, worthless! Don't tell them! Don't do it! Let me go! You suddenly realize you're talking to someone intelligent. It isn't a dumb bird. Why are you doing that? What did I do? You bastard! You lied! Because of creatures like you, I ended up in a cage! None of you want to change, redeem yourself. You only pretend that you want to help. What are you talking about? Nonsense! Urgh. <laughs> Why is that? I've studied to become a doctor. I help people. I want to, and I do help them. Yeah, right. Well, doctor, tell me this. Have you already helped someone in this town? Oh, no! Oh, no! I took the- I took the path I took last time. Oh, man, I should have stopped to talk to the lumberjack. I just went the fastest route to get to chapter two. I 
I helped you! <laughs> How did you help me? I just released you from that cage. Well, maybe you can release me now as well. Fuck it. Go away. <laughs> I'm scared of you. You release the bird. It flies off after some time. I hope it was the right decision. <laughs> oh, Amari. Amari. You look around before you leave. Amari most likely won't leave. He's in a bad state. No more nuts. It's fine. That's it. Time to go. Amari, I'll be back soon. Hold on, friend. Oh! Death to maggots! No! Oh! That stupid bird! I never should have trusted you! Put it back in the cage! You go in the cage, you go! Firmly holding the resisting bird, you abruptly shove it inside the cage and lock the door. Death to you! Curse you! I wish I could change your mind, but I have no time for that. The bird suddenly stops flapping and opens its jaw. I hope it was the right decision. Considering what the last thing happened, I think it is. The bird won't be any trouble anymore. Time to go. I'll be back soon. This time for real. You close the door and look around. You see a crowd in the distance. It's loud and the smell. This is the smell of burnt rotten meat. Something has started. Let's find the girl as soon as possible. Look, isn't this the hut we're looking for? You look at a t flimsy two-storied hut. Probably. Let's check. We can sneak or make a detour to get around him. Um... Don't approach the man. We don't want to do that. I don't- I'm nervous after what just happened. Let's sneak past the man. You sneak past the tall man. The closer you get to the man, the clearer you can hear the song that he sings under his breath. Oh, I finally have the right to kill someone at will. Oh, maggots and undead are all gonna be killed. And here and there and everywhere I will, I will, I will. Oh, finally, oh, finally I'm going to kill. Back, back, back! He hasn't noticed you yet. There's a chance that he's not talking about you, but better be safe than sorry. You decide to take a detour. Ooh, I like the house. So, this is an old rickety two-story hut with boarded-up windows. You get to the door and knock. No one answers. We've been in this situation already, haven't we? Maybe it's not locked. Try opening it. The door won't budge. You knock harder. Nothing. What are you waiting for? Try looking around. Alright. You decided to look around and notice a small space in the window between the boards in which you could squeeze. Do you need any help, friend? Oh! Hello! Oh, it's you! What happened to him? What happened to your legs? Well, the Volcadus. Me in particular. I'm undead, I bring diseases, and so on. Oh, but you were so helpful! Isamur, he hits me from time to time. At one point, he ripped my hand off. That was before this night. And this day, I was almost crushed. Imagine being crushed while you're still alive. Then they bury you in a grave where you spend... Spend eternity. Today, something happened to Izmir. He was acting weird. He came to me and crushed my lower body in the dust, yelling, Purge undead! Death to all maggots! Oh, that's what they did to me when they crushed my head! But that was a different timeline. I barely escaped from him there. Now I try to avoid people. Something really bad is going on. Oh, buddy. This can't go on. That's how people are. If they hate, that'll be with them for a long time. They make others go as far as possible. Some to the forest, some are buried alive. <laughs> I mean, crushed or cut into pieces and buried. I thought that uh, such a fate would bypass me if I endure everything and be friendly in spite of everything. Silly, silly me. Sure, we've done a lot wrong while we were human, but uh, we're given a chance to redeem ourselves, right? Yeah. 
We were given the second life. I... We... A lot of us were trying to make things right. And now everybody in town are taking this opportunity away from us. And for what? We just wanted peace. Oh, poor skeleton. Neither talk nor any consolation from you will help him. Moreover, you have more important things to do. Could you please help me get to this window? Sure. The skeleton crawls up to the wall and helps you get to the hole in the window. Thanks, buddy. I'm sorry about your legs. Squeezing in, you fall into a very dark room. Suddenly, you hear sounds coming from the other side of the wall. Hey, men! I've found Nisimir's creeper! He's here! Decided to take a breath! Ha <laughs> ha! Come over here! The pounding of many feet approaches the place where you were just standing a few seconds ago. Thought you can redeem yourself by doing chores for the Ismir, you shit! No! Don't kill him! Let's kill this scum, men! No! Oh! Well done, men. One less undead. Let's deal with the others. Purge undead and magnets! Maggots! Clear our town! Not the magnets! We still need those! Footsteps tail off. Oh, but he was so nice. Why? I, I didn't even ask his name. Do you really need this? No time for whining. Focus. We're inside. Time to find the girl. Who is this voice, I wonder? Because it's different from the narrator. Once you get used to the darkness, you can see that the entire first floor looks trashed. Chairs and tables overturned, drawers pulled out, doors thrown open, some cabinets knocked over blocking the front door. And there's a ladder leaning to the second floor. Hmm. I'm a little nervous about calling the girl considering the crowd was just out there. And we don't even know her name, so who the hell knows is going to answer us. So let's go to the second floor. You decide to use the stairs when suddenly- Oh no! Oh! Do. Not. Move. Is it fake? You slowly reach out and touch the spider. Oh, oh, thank God. No reaction. Damn, well done, scares to death. You overcome an obstacle and see a door. Oh, it's you. Who are you? What do you need? I'm from Amari. Don't be scared. Amari sent me a letter asking to come to him as soon as possible. I was too late. The bird from Amari's hut told me about you. The girl tensed up at those words. Don't worry, I locked this bird in a cage at Amari's. But, but he will eat it. Yeah, why haven't you thought that through? Well, whatever. Well, if I let the bird out, it's gonna kill me, voice, so don't be sassy with me. I've seen alternate timelines. Ahem. Do you know how I can help Amari? Yes, I... I know what kind of herbs to collect. Great! Let's go then! You can tell me all about the rest on the way. I don't know if it's safe for her. No, I... You see, the girl shrinks even more. I'm afraid to go out. What? Why? What do you mean, Doctor? What did we just see happen? Our skeleton friend is dead! I look like a walking corpse. They'll... they'll kill me or make me go to the forest. Ah. Uh, tell me how I can find him. Oh. Why do walking corpses need to be chased away into the forest? I'm actually curious about that. Let me save really quick. I don't think- I think this is just asking a question, so we won't get in trouble, but I want to know. They are undead. They stink. They spread disease. They disturb folks' lives. Her eyes begin to moisture. Do you think so? No, no way. I think differently. Folk, folk think that the undead and maggots have no place here. They have all gone, have to be gone from the town. Monsters live in the forest. They kill. Folk hope that the forest will purge all of the undead if they make the undead go there. I see. Please, tell me how I can help Amari. 
You need to go to the forest. Oh no! There you will find a clearing surrounded by 12 sycamore trees. You will find wolf moss at the roots. It is black with brown spots. Swaki is... You interrupt her. Under the rocks, I know. I have Swaki with me. Look for wolf moss at the roots. Black moss with brown spots. Got it. I'm guessing it's for the potion that will help Amari, correct? Yes. What's the proportion? Pound everything. Bring it to a boil. I know that. The ratio? The ratio of water to moss to swaki. Five to two to one. Five to two to one. Got it. Thanks. Um, why are you all- Oh, can I give her a gift? It's not the time. Oh, Maybe another time. Why are you here all by yourself? I... I was alone all the time. At first, however, everything was worse. There was no blockage on the first floor. There used to be no need to defend against anyone. Nowadays, it's different. Did you make the spider? Yeah, that was me. That scared me good. Really? He has one missing leg, though. Girl's eyes lit up. I made it from burlap, which I had a lot of in the basement. No one will notice the color in the dark. I saw I stuffed a huge pile of weeds that I gathered from the forest into the burlap. The flowers will be better without them, and I will have a filler. It was hard to find a needle and thread to sew it, but Flint, our mayor, helped me out. He gave me the needle and thread. So Flint must be nice, hopefully? Imagine that! That is awesome! I also plan to move his paws. I need a rope for that, but I don't know how to weave it myself. I walk around town at night and try to find a rope no one needs. Let's make a deal. If I find a rope along the way, I'll bring it to you. What do you think? Are you for real? Yeah, sure! Thank you! So, I want to tie the rope to each foot with one end, and the other to the mechanism that will move them. I would be able to set up each of the mechanism for each paw individually. Oh, when will she shut up? Not that I care that much. But Amari has lost his mind, and you listen to the girl? Splendid. What if he chokes on a bone? Have you thought about this? It will be on you. It will also be possible to add sound using... Hmm. Um... What if I can I don't want to leave! She's so sweet! She's helping us! Maybe I could use a saw. There will be a mechanism that would run something along the saw so that it would make a long and strange sound. Or I could get by with the sound of falling dishes. Huh. I should think about how to protect myself even more. Well, you were not afraid of the spider and you went further. It's not the ultimate barricade. Ah! <laughs> I was really scared of this spider. I just had a very important business. If any robbers or thieves get in here, once they meet with the spider, they'll run away as fast as they can. You think so? Yeah, I do think so. Thanks. The girl is glowing with happiness and looks you straight in the eyes. It was really nice to talk to you, but I have to go to the forest. Please be careful. And don't forget to give Amari the painkiller before the potion. I won't. Goodbye. You turn around and go to the window. Oh, I'm so sorry. I wonder if I had gone in sooner if I'd be able to help him. That's your fate if you won't be careful. I understand. Oh, oh, you enter a dense, dark forest. The rotting smell from the town no longer reaches here. It smells of pine needles and moisture. Twelve sycamores, twelve sycamores. Oof, I should have asked for more detailed directions. Oh! What was it? What was that? You are not going to check it out. Move away from the sound and quiet. You keep looking for the clearing that the girl described to you when suddenly... Oh! There it is. But what? Oh! Oh god! Oh, 
it's the giant tree! Try to talk. You slowly- oh wait, oh shit, I should have saved! You slowly put down collected moss on the ground and raise your hands. I mean no harm. I collect ingredients for my friend. He's in great danger. Are you crazy? It's a tree! Run from it! Come, all come to destroy forest. But they give nothing back. Um... Everything needs harmony. We have to use the benefits of the forest. That's just gonna make him mad. Everything needs harmony. Amari brings sacrifices when he take. Oh no. What sacrifices? Blood. I cannot give you my blood. My blood is different from the human blood. This will only make things worse. Decide to lie to me? No. I crush you. You grab the moss and run as fast as you can out of the forest. Might as well shed some blood. Nothing bad would have happened. Ah, uh, no. Oh, no. As you run up to Amari's house, you notice men shouting everywhere in the town. Some huts are on fire. Also, you can see some silhouettes burning as well. The smell of burnt meat in the air. You lock the door behind you and walk into Amari's room. Amari? Damn, the girl was right about the bird. Hold on, Amari. I'm going to prepare the painkiller, then the medicine. Everything will be fine. You clear the nearest table and prepare everything you need. As you prepare the painkiller using the herbs you have on you. Good thing I didn't pick that particular memory with the painkiller recipe when I was getting here. Oh, I didn't even think about that! I went with the exam! Yeah, otherwise Amari would have had a hard time. So the main potion. Wolf Moss is here. Swaki is here. Pound everything and bring it to a boil. The ratio, 5 to 2 to 1. Heh, <laughs> you don't have enough moss. Damn it! I'm gonna make it from what I have. Oh, I should have taken more and just run! Grr. Hold on, friend, I'm almost done. Remembering what the girl told you, start preparing the potion. Uh-oh. Oh no! Do not answer. Amari! Oh no. There are talks that you have a particular guest we're looking for. Damn it, who is that? Why? You'd better open that door, or else we're gonna kick it down. Quick, the potion! Amari, drink it! Painkiller first, then the potion? It's not enough! Amari? Well, seems you've made your choice. <laughs> no, 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 no! Oh no! We've put our heart and soul into this game, so it'd mean a lot if you would leave us feedback on the game's page. Heck yeah! Not Involved is and will be available for free so that more people can experience it. We rely on the support of our patrons to keep working on this great game. To be continued! Oh no! I'm scared! What's gonna happen now? Oh no! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, I love that chapter! Oh, that was so much fun! We met so many new characters and I got my heart ripped out of my chest. Oh my goodness, I wonder what other stuff could have happened if we made different choices. Maybe while we're waiting for the next chapter, I'll have to do a whole episode going back and checking things out, seeing what we missed. Because I only talked to the skeleton this time around. I know in the last episode I did, I went back and I talked to people. But in this one, I was trying to go with the choices I made in my first run so we could kind of like keep it going. So I, I talked to the skeleton and for the memory, I gave away the exam. But I'm wondering if we give away a different memory, what will happen? If we talk to someone other than the skeleton, what will happen? What if we talk to everyone? And what about the painkiller? What about the potion? If we can grab more moss, maybe something different will happen at the end? We probably won't find out until next time. But I'm so excited for more! This game is so much fun! Oh, it's so cool! I love it! I love it! I love it! Alright, okay, I'll stop gushing. We have to- well, not gushing blood, although that may happen, considering how this ended. Oh, but we'll have to wait until next time. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and checking out the game. It's for free, and the link will be in the description. Remember to take care of yourselves, watch out for the undead hunters, and have a good day.